Hi, my name is Chris Anthony, and this is my midterm project for sustainable energy. Uh, for my midterm, I wanted to take a look at cell phones and how we can empower people in off the grid in developing world situations to repower their own phones. Uh, currently, the problem is uh, these individuals have to take their phones to charging stations where it can cost anywhere from 25 cents to $2 per charge, or they just never charge their phones once their batteries run out initially. Uh, the interesting thing to me about cell phones is they're um, in particular, their ability to be used in healthcare situations and how this can be of great benefit um, to people who don't have services like we have in the developed world. Uh, for this project, I want to understand um, what it takes to create enough power um, to recharge cell phones. Uh, my design process included just thinking of um, different kind of kinetic ways that we could harness physical energy um, on the human side in order to create um, electricity output. Uh, that could be used to charge uh, a cell phone. Um, I looked at a number of different things and finally came down on a whip charger, um, which you'll see in a minute. Um, it doesn't take a lot to make uh, this charger. Really, you're just looking at a gear motor, um, some capacitance, depending on how much energy you want to store in your system so that you can stop uh, physically charging. Um, a voltage regulator, a cell phone, can only generally take in five volts at a time. Um, or less, uh, a rectifier so that you can turn your gear motor both ways, uh, some PVC pipe, some duct tape, some rope, um, and then some type of um, storage device for a mass that you're going to swing. Here's a quick look at uh, the gear motor I used, and here is my circuit setup. Um, the PVC pipe was an interesting problem to look at. Um, I started with just a hand crank where uh, you can see that's a shorter PVC pipe and I eventually moved to the longer pipe where you could stick it underneath kind of in your armpit and swing it. Um, you could last a lot longer that way and obviously generate more power. Um, here's my cell phone. Um, I eventually took the battery out just so you could turn it on without the battery. Um, it was a lot easier this way. Um, and here we go. This is uh, a couple of the tests that I did. Um, so please refer to um, the web page um, to get more information um, and contact me if you have any questions. All right, phone's booting. Now go ahead and dial. You can go ahead and dial mm -hmm. now.
Then press the green button. Yeah.